Kenya and Kim, all it took was one visit to Sheree's basement last season for the two of you to start a war of words. From duck lips to fake husbands to pimping out daughters for John Legend tickets. I still have no idea why the two of you don't like each other. What is it? Can either of you explain? Jere, as everyone knows, we've had this lightweight shade back and forth on our homes, but it was between me and Sheree. So Kim comes in and she's talking crap and I'm like, why are you even speaking to me? And it just kind of like escalated from there. Kim? Sure, she clearly has been thinking about this, but I didn't know what was going on with Kenya and Sheree. It's irrelevant. Sheree's hosting a party, so I was like, why do you have to be an asshole? You know the party is not down in the basement, and I think it's really rude to go down in somebody's basement with a film crew, tell your husband to get a job, and starts ripping in my husband. I was like, whoa, like, you clearly have been stalking me or trying to figure me out because this is all nuts. I just told you, like, why do you have to be an asshole? That's, That's actually it. not true. She said something about my dress and my P-U-S-S-Y falling out of my dress. I just stood there and just talked shit about you the whole time while you were just so quiet Well, you an always angel. talk about me. That's your yeah. thing, you and your daughter. Uh -huh. So that's what you do. About. You're obsessed with me in my Get life. Your For some reason, else. you are obsessed. I'm sorry, Andy, Sweetie. I can't hear her behind her wig. Do you mind if I mm. go on the other side so I can clearly hear her? Mm. I, I'm sorry. I'll sit over there so you guys can yeah. see. Because I'm not going to talk to the back me. of that. Uh -oh. Sweetie, I just go ahead and look forward. Because so, anyway. we ain't going to. You ain't getting your moment from so me, my, sweet my girl. my issue is <laughs> she was accusing me of being rude. But this bitch it is the rude. rudest person in the entire world. Delcia from Ohio said, Kim, why did you instigate a fight with Kenya, then get mad when she clapped back after making several attempts to ignore you? Because it was very, um, yeah. Kids are off limits. Husbands are off limits. Did not have a problem with Kenya. Said stop being an asshole going in her basement. She wants to talk shit about my husband right off the bat. Like, what? I was totally caught off guard. She comes into Nini's home. Mm -hmm, the party I am. Immediately, her she was doing everything to get a reaction from me. I will say, at Casa League's party, Kenya in no way said one word to you. You That's straight right. up came for Kenya. That's she not true, that Cynthia. She was not talking to you, Kenya. You know good well. Whatever, girl. I'm, I'm open here. Mercedes from Boardman, Ohio said, Kenya, are you jealous of Kim's life with her husband and kids? She seems to have everything you want. Is that why you're coming so hard for her? I don't want her? those baby kids. Why does anyone <laughs> in 2017 want some kids that are just like her? I'll just leave it at that. I really watch what you say about my kids, though. She has a husband that walks around and acts like her valet, her driver, just jealous, her wig maker, her wig curl, or whatever the cool. case you. He even does cool. her makeup. It's like, it's like ridiculous. Like, does Croy do your makeup, I want a husband Kim? that doesn't have any balls. My husband has way bigger balls, sweetie, than yours will ever well, have. Well, I'm sure you've sucked a lot of balls to know that. Okay. You have lied about a married man yeah. for years. Oh my God. You lied Just about sit what up the, here and try to ruin my credibility. was about, about cool. your child. It's cool. You pimped your daughter out. You went online and told the whole world that basically your daughter is a hoe. <laughs> okay. I would not say Brielle's a hoe. Chrissy Teigen's my friend. We already text, sweetie. Don't be mad at so me because that. your Put husband is, a, is, a, is an idiot who turned a hoe into a housewife. Oh. Don't be mad at me about that. You're the nasty oh. one. I don't have my own show for no reason. What does your show have to do with this? You don't even do sh. You'd be surprised. <laughs> you don't do sh. But tired yeah. for the damn party. You ain't uh -huh. got no other jobs, bitch. Cashmere sold 15 million his first year, yeah, sweetie. Girl, 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 girl. Oh, girl this girl stop. is delusional. She I don't have to prove myself. Crazy. 15 million? Close to 15 million. You up there with Kim K now, huh? Anybody who gets a check for 15 no, million. No, I didn't get a check for 15 million because uh, your product. On this you have to reinvent the money to make more coins. product. Bitch, you crazy. Uh -huh. Bitch, put some anesthesia in a to bottle. To be clear, cashmere more. is your skincare line. Yes, it is. Yes. Kim, you always talk about your husband and your kids being off limits, so why talk about Kenya's husband and then get angry when she brings up you your child? Seems like a double standard. I didn't say that. Didn't say your husband. Oh, I don't my God. That, so. The simple answer is she still had it out for you, so when she saw you, she got you. Why don't she just say that? Goodbye. Thanks, Portia. It's like old times, right? Oh, my God. God. Well, Jealousy is a disease. Get well soon, bitch. Everybody is jealous. June from Altoona, Pennsylvania Everybody said, Kim, it's clear your parenting skills are lacking since your daughter has come for both Kenya and Nini on social media. Why don't you start acting like a parent and tell your daughter to cut it out? Riel's grown. She's 21 years old. 
She's you encourage her to do that. That's so, why she's just uh, like no. you. Okay, you cool. Encourage she's it. super successful. She You're probably so makes more than you. Brielle didn't say are anything so to Nene rich. until Nene talked about her pussy. Oh, so. that's a lie. That's a lie. That don't fall far from the tree. Uh, I know exactly what you're doing. My six-year-old's more successful than your stupid ass. Please. Fix your double chin next time you go to the plastic surgeon. <laughs> Okay, can you go back to your chair? Gladly. My work here is done. Yes, honey, you gotta carry on, Miss USA, honey. Let's take a break. We'll be back.